All right, guys, and welcome to probably the final part. I think it's part four or five of episode three, Fractured Mask. And All right, guys, we're at the body spa. Let's go. It's about to get real. Al? Have you located the black site? I think so. While you were at the office, I did some basic online research on the body spa. Excellent. What's the verdict? According to reviews, it truly seems to be a fully functioning business. Uh, not just a front. Couldn't tell from the service entrance. They offer rather popular high-end massages and have an active social media feed. It's a 24-hour business, Bruce. There are customers going in and out at all times. They have no idea what's coming for them. There's no way to tell until I get in there. I'll proceed with caution. Initiate the feed of my contacts to Waller. Let her know I'm here. At once. I need to see what we're up against. Good idea. Remember, you're able to toggle the thermal imaging in your lenses. I'm signing off while you speak with Director Waller. Be careful. Thanks, Al. Waller? On the line, Bruce. I'm here. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Caution is key, Bruce. This situation is a spark away from a wildfire. I'll keep that in mind. That appears to just be a patron. There are still traces of heat signatures. Someone was here recently. Maybe guards. Whoa. They're heading downstairs. The real lab must be underground. Sanctus has been in the middle of Gotham this entire time. They burrow under your skin and eat you from the inside out. This is why I'm willing to let these criminals be the tip of the spear. Dangerous and expendable. My favorite adjectives. Looks like we have a receptionist behind the front desk. She's hardly anything to worry about. All too easy to hide a gun under that desk. I see a security panel inside the building. It could trigger an alarm system of some kind. If I can hit that before they suspect what I'm really here for. They'll be blind and helpless. Perfect for my people. You just saved a few agents' lives, Bruce. That access door is connected to the spa. That's some top-notch field work, Bruce. I know being undercover has been tough, but you just need to maintain it a little longer. If you don't get inside with those maniacs, we're going to have a pandemic on our hands. Waller, I need to go. Now why would a billionaire be skulking around in a filthy alley? Carefully inspecting every detail. Almost as if performing 
reconnaissance. I could ask you the same. Oh, I'm not skulking. I have a very deliberate purpose. My Bane, have you been spying on me? Spying? No. I've only been keeping an eye on you. That's the same thing. I heard that GCPD paid you a visit at your office, so I swung by to see if you might be in need of some aid. Innocent as that. Then, something about the look on your face as you left. So, determined. Yes, I had a sense you would lead me to something interesting. Project Lotus. This is the secret you and Harley had. Where are we, Bruce? What is this place? And do your best to be honest. Lies insult us both. <laughs> this is Harley's secret to get, not mine. Secret? A fourth grader could piece this together. Project Lotus is what we're after. And this is it. Finding you in this duplicitous position while we have a mole problem. Well, it does not look good for you, my friend. When you wake up, you can tell Harley that you led me right to her conspiracy. Wake up. What? Rice and shine. you're about to face, Wayne. You had so much going for you, Bruce. But trying to hide your discovery from me... Well... Harley wanted to spearhead the hunt for the mole. This will be her chance. So, be thoughtful with your words in there. They could be your last. Thanks for the warning. I'll be careful. I hope it's not you, Wayne. But if it is, I'll kill everyone who shows up for your funeral. What is it now, Bane? The rat has been uncovered. Wayne was right under your nose. I tracked Wayne to the location of the black site. He had I a... sent Wayne to scout it, so lower your damn voice. It was the final piece of the puzzle, and now we got it. Go get your boys ready. We move on the site ASAP. And don't worry your pretty little head about our rat problem. I got it covered. And Bane, tell Freeze to get one of them popsicle makers ready. Nuts. You're not going anywhere. You're in here. With me. Thanks for backing me up. Don't mention it. Can't have him stepping on my turf, you know? I said I'd find the rats. And I will. Your father. He was a hard man, right? Someone lied to him. Betrayed him. He ended them. Think he was onto something with that idea? Show no mercy? Take no apologies? That sort of thing? There's always another way. Killing someone isn't an answer. The son of Thomas Wayne shies away from spilling blood. You are who I think you are, Bruce. Who do you think I am? A man out to prove to the underworld he's just as bad as his dear departed dad. Or there more to the story I should know? Hidden depths? Secrets you don't want me to see? I also enjoy long walks on the beach. Hmm, you're funny. Must have gotten that from your mother's side. You know, my dad could be a funny guy, too. And they all fell down 
To the deep to drown, to the dark to drown. He used to sing that to me. My dad. Made me feel safe. Like nothing could hurt me. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Might want to get those ears checked, Brucey. What's left of them. But it's nice to know I have a fan. Been running short of those lately. In fact, you being like my dad, that's why I got such a soft spot for you. Oh, you do? You found me the black site, didn't you? Plus, you're not a bad guy. I mean, you're rotten like the rest of us. But you actually care for some people. Like that girl John told me about. What's her face? Uh, Brittany? No. Tiffany. You remember? Early 20s, fresh faced and optimistic. How am I doing? Br who's. who's that? <laughs> oh, that's rich. <laughs> nice try, but you're a book. And I read ya. I'm glad you have a friend in this world, Bruce. That's invaluable. Yeah, friends are great. Except when you have to lose them. Laptop's gone. What are you? Yeah, Shaka. We have a turncoat. I've interviewed just about everyone in the place. Except maybe one. Or two. So gosh, that only leaves the two people I haven't cleared. You and Catwoman. Maybe it was the guy who Bane gave the hamburger face. But weirdest thing, the laptop went missing after that. Well, you seem to have made up your mind already. Guess one of us has to be the mole. But you've already cleared me. Trying to make me second guess myself ain't gonna work, sweetie. Nice try, though. John, get in here! When I told Puddin I narrowed it down to you two, he begged me to let him interrogate you. I gave him some pointers, and now this is his chance. Hi, Bruce. You potential rat. Have at it, John. Harley, uh, do you mind? Can't learn to ride with training wheels on forever, you know? I'll be right outside. Rat scum! You're the... the rat. <clears throat> Sorry, I have to make it sound good. Do it again. What? Hit me again. Take... <clears throat> You're hitting him already. I'll let it play. Done. Catwoman has to take the fall. Think about it, Bruce. Harley's gonna kill that Tiffany girl if it's you. And who knows if she'll stop there? Okay, John. That's what we'll do. What? Really? I knew you'd see reason. I didn't expect you to see it that fast. Okay, okay, okay. This is good. I'm calling her back in. Harley, we're done. Puddin, you might have surpassed the teacher. That was record time. Who are we hanging out to dry? Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her what you told me. Come on. Go ahead, Bruce. It's okay. It was Catwoman. She took your laptop. How do you know? Uh, she, she took a phone call at Riddler's. Bruce overheard her talking about it. I understand, Bruce. I'm disappointed, too. So much for the solidarity of sisterhood. <laughs> and here I was, starting to be a cat person. I knew you had it in you, John. We are gonna do terrible things together. Like... skin a cat. What are you doing?
doing? Well, did you think I was just gonna let her go or something? That frickin' chance. She's gonna get turned into one of Freeze's popsicles. I know cats don't like water, but how do they feel about ice? She has skills that can help us at the black site. Taking her out hurts all of us. You don't have to do this. I really, really do. Thought you'd see that. We're ready to move. Good. This'll just take a second. Get her inside. <laughs> I've seen that look in your eyes before. On other men, just before they get themselves killed. Come on! Just throw her in one of Riddler's murder boxes. We have a black site to raid. Come on, Bruce. Time to raise some hell. Alright guys, and thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I really appreciate all the support you've given us, uh, please comment, like and subscribe for more awesome content, and please also check out all of these thumbnails around me for more fantastic content from projects, alright, alright and until the next time, bye bye.